What describes you and who you are better? Astrology or the Myers-Briggs type indicator? In this video, I had the help of two lovely girls who practice astrology to better get to know themselves. And in this video, we're gonna be finding out their personal type and their star sign, and we're gonna find out what they relate to more. Hey, sorry, can I ask you two a quick question? Yeah, yeah sure. of course. Cool, how would you describe each other's? Each other? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> wow, uh, the food. Uh, well, uh, yeah, so uh, maybe I said my roommate yeah. is super bold, like she's like adventurous person. Actually, we were talking about zodiac signs today. Yeah, this so morning. Yeah, I mean, she's adventurous, she's like a really easygoing person, I would say. What's your zodiacs? Mine is Libra. Right. Yeah, and mine is a, oh, I have Arius. Arius, Arius yeah. yeah. Right, so would you say that she gets her boldness from being an Arius, you think? I think a lot of controls invo like are like involved into it, but I think the core of her personality kind of maybe connected to that, I guess. Yeah. And what about you? Like, uh, how did you see her in a sense? Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I think the, the, the description of the zodiac sign was pretty correct in most that she's very like, empathetic and cares about other people and maybe put herself uh, aside because she cares about what other people think and uh, she wants them to have a good time. But she changed a lot because she is bold as well and she dares to like speak up, speak up her mind yeah uh <laughs> but that's just something that she learned uh but, and uh, the other thing is that she's super like enthusiastic about lots of stuff so i went went to yeah kind of like dreamy the, the same as like a description like yeah. i always dream about new stuff new projects oh i'm gonna start a podcast <laughs> uh oh i want to start the photography uh, oh i want to start dancing at the same time, the Myers-Briggs type indicator gives you complete control over the process defining yourself. You get to decide who you are and you get to decide in a sense what you relate to and what speaks to you and you get to decide if you agree with your results or not and what you want to change and how you want to work on yourself. You can ultimately uh, get a certain result but ultimately choose for another personal type if it fits you better and if you think you'd be happier living that way. Uh, you want to start a podcast what would your podcast be about actually this like discussable beauty of 20s huh. <laughs> yeah so that will be probably describing all the ups and downs of 20s and how we like you know like struggles we have and everything i mean it's work in progress but yeah <laughs> that's really cool okay so have you ever taken a Myers briggs personality test uh yes mm. i well i Maybe. did it for, for my studies but I, I i don't know really what the the outcome was to be honest uh, based on what you said about yourself mm -hmm. uh, yeah that you had lots of ideas you're often thinking about what's next and so on uh that would suggest that you would be either an e and a fear an entp i'm curious are you more of a feelings person or are you more of a logic person oh, feelings person 100 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 logic, logic. Yeah, you're more of the logic. <laughs> yeah we're we're like black and white like the opposites yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. but we still go together really well <laughs> that's really funny okay so in that sense uh, uh, you might be the ENFP they are known to be very inspiring people they have lots of ideas they're often campaigning for things we should go there do this try this out in a sense yeah, so but creative. they have the problem of sometimes taking action like they sometimes uh, stay in the idea stage and they don't always act on everything they come up with and uh, <laughs> sometimes they can struggle with the planning and uh, like the structure and organization of everything they come up with <laughs> Would you say that's true? Yeah, I mean, some of the stuff, some of the stuff. I mean, I, t I think I take an action when it's relevant. So yeah. that's the thing. But like the, when I'm actually 100% sure that it's actually, I'm like, yeah, this is a good idea. So I would say, but sometimes, yeah, I can have, sometimes it's just so much of ideas in the same place to do. Like it, you just like overload it. So you don't even know from actually yeah. what to start, you know. But the most so important ideas. things you, you do get done. It's yeah. like a very big funnel, a very, very yeah, big funnel. Yeah. But in the end you get you something like, like yes. <laughs> and then yeah. it gets done. And yeah. then it's often something you can be very proud of. Yeah, but that's true. Yeah. 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 <laughs> So for you, uh, I'm inclined to think, uh, I'm wondering, are you more of a philosopher or do you feel like you're more of a protector? Like, are you always looking out for other people and make sure other people are safe? Or are you more of a person that uh, also likes to dream and uh, think about things and maybe overthink things sometimes? Mm, I, I think I'm more a philosopher. Yeah, I would say philosopher, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can have very random thoughts where people are like, where did you even get, why, why are you <laughs> thinking about this? And I was like, yeah, it's just interesting. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah I do consider myself like, as a little bit of a, a nerd. I like to read about random stuff and about science. I think science. Google, like the YouTube search is like, yeah. one time we did this exercise, we're like, let's switch, we see what kind of things we actually search on YouTube. Yeah. For her, it's like, 
there was no specific like one path it was just so many random things which i would never even think about how i could i don't know i was like about some insects you also were searching for like yeah and like how <laughs> does like lightning work yeah. <laughs> and i just see it in my filter like oh let's see like, what happens yeah and uh, she had definitely more like aesthetic facing videos and a lot of music psychology as well yeah, yeah and yeah. uh crafts crafting yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. because it sounds like in a sense that it's important for you to know how things work you like to figure out things no matter what the subject is you want to know and understand it oh yeah yeah, yeah. definitely ne even if it's not directly relevant it's just yeah. cool to know yeah <laughs> so i'm wondering are you more of a planner like that likes to think ahead into the future like constantly thinking about uh, like next year or <laughs> yeah. Yeah. she knows the answer yeah. it's yes yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah okay then i think i'd guess that you are an introvert in a sense that you're a person that likes to be in your own head and uh, thinking about things i'd guess that you're an intuitive you you're often interested in the abstract the unknown and um, uh, the future uh, i'd say that you already said it but that you're more logical you uh you're ambitious uh you uh think about projects and uh, things you like to do challenges that you'd like to overcome in a sense and that you're more of a planner uh, organizer in a sense yes yeah yeah that's funny I, like the funny thing is like i do consider myself an introvert but i also like to be out, out there and just meet random people yeah so it's like two-sided i on one hand, I can enjoy my time alone yeah, uh, and just like read a book. But at the other hand, I also just like to go somewhere alone and just see whoever I meet. But that's the thing, it's like, you know, like you also like you don't really need, like you don't really that much crave. For example, I'm a purely extroverted person and like yeah. I spend three hours by myself and it's enough. And I was like, I'm going to search people to actually hang out because I need to check my social batteries. Yeah. You can close yourself for 10 hours in the room. You don't, you don't notice. <laughs> I'm just like listening in a room. I was like, if she out, because <laughs> I need to <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is she alive? Yeah, and we're like, tuk, tuk, tuk. Yeah, you yeah. want some coffee? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Could it also be then that uh, for you, you can read a lot and think a lot about things, and sometimes you get into a point where you want to talk with other people about it, or you want to go out and uh, like uh, learn things in the real world in a sense. That that's uh, like you recharge and you go into yourself to recharge. But then when you do have energy, when you do have motivation, and you've thought about it, then you want to go out and do something with it. Yeah, and I'm often more like it, it happens that you like, bump, I mean, if you live in Amsterdam, it's pretty easy that you get a text like, oh, let's go to that concert or just you walk in the park and you so see people you know. So <laughs> it often like happens like kind of by a coincidence that you bump into people and then you have a nice conversation and yeah. And often like you have, yeah, you feel like you, you have also have obligation to uh, keep up with people and to pay attention to them and check in, see how they are. Yeah. Um, so that's also why you just send a text like, hey, let's go out for dinner or do something nice. So, yeah. Yeah. So I'm curious, uh, since you're also very interested in astrology and uh, thinking about like how the stars influence your behavior in a sense, what do you feel like, uh, uh, do you feel like what I said about you in a sense was accurate? Or do you feel like uh, uh, what you read about uh, astrology and those things are more accurate? Oh, I mean, I think like there's always a sort of like half truth in everything. So yeah. I guess it's like you know, because you can't really say that everything is a sort of like set in stone. So I think there's sort of like patterns you can actually notice with people born in certain time. But I think those personally tests are a bit more accurate in a sense because you have like more direct questions about things, so you can really like make it your own, make it more individual, and make it like a more personal. I would say, and I think this. Like you know, the astrology thing they take to consideration such a long period of time of of people born, and you also have so many controls involving in your life. So I think yeah, some of the stuff can be actually yeah accurate, but in the end, I think like it's like every person is so different. So like you can't really say that. Like, but I I do actually see some like like a major like a general characteristic features that they actually attach to different type like period people born in different period of time. Yeah, and I think there's also like a lot of context. So, like, how do you feel? Did you sleep well? Are you stressed? <laughs> uh, it also influences how you behave, and maybe like if you're willing to take initiative to yeah. take on a new project, or if you like, yeah, uh, I think it also really affects like how you feel and how uh, uh, like if you work out, eat healthy, it affects your like self-esteem and if you have yeah. the energy to do stuff. So, yeah, yeah, it, like. One thing that I noticed, because I'm also very interested in astrology and I've also been working a lot with that, so, uh, and that's that uh, 
uh, it's much more abstract. Uh, like the personality tests, they're certainly a lot more specific. They'll go into a lot more detail about who you are because they can ask more direct questions and learn more about your personal experiences, yeah. things like that. But uh, with the astrology, one thing you can do is, uh, it's all up to you in a sense, how you interpret yes. it. So they give you the power of interpretation. So True. they'll tell you something very, very abstract, like mm -hmm. uh, uh, about energies and things like that. And you get to make the decision about what that means. So you can think about your personal life who am I what am I doing yeah. in a sense and from I there you can somehow like yeah. it's identification I think, right yeah, I think it's like lets you go and like really like a bit research about yourself because I think personality tests are really like putting you in a box sort of like okay you this you tip like personality by A B or something like that and like I think with the astrology it's a bit different that you can actually go wider and go like I think bigger you can just like really yourself as you said set this kind of sort of like identify yourself with some of the stuff from the the, the horoscope and then you're like okay this is who i am i feel like the most connected to that instead of actually putting yourself and putting a label from the personality test so yeah. i think it gives a bit more freedom to be you know to express yourself a bit better and differentiate yourself but also you've also sort of like a source of like it helps you like connect with also other people i'm like if i know there's a like libra and gives you like yeah i know that okay we we libra so we like pretty similar with some behaviors i i know that this person probably would understand me a bit better than a for example i don't know another sign <laughs> yeah yeah in some ways perhaps yeah astrology is a complete pseudoscience perhaps it has nothing to do with anything real measured or falsifiable or testable but still People can find a lot of value in it if they choose to value it. That means they can choose to take the descriptions they read in astrology and they can choose to connect it to their personal life and relationships and they can choose to give a certain meaning to certain actions. And it's all up to them how they choose to interpret it. Astrology is abstract in general and that means it's ultimately up to you how you want to interpret it. And if you choose to interpret and use it in a positive manner, it will probably have a positive influence on your life. So you mentioned some of the problems that people talk about with personality tests, which is you, pe you feel like you're put in a box, you yeah. feel like you're yeah, stuck in something in a sense. Uh, do you feel like personality type can change, that you can become somebody different if you work hard at it? Yeah, 100%. You know, like, yeah, I, I even see on my grow, like, you know, like, it's like, I think a lot of environment affects you and how your personality shapes. And I think until you like stuck in one type of environment it's uh, you will be stuck with one type of personality like what is actually you know like with, especially with my personality i kind of mirror other people so i know that i will adjust myself my personality a bit to other person yeah. uh, to make them feel more comfortable uh, but so for example me environment my environment is super important like super like it's affecting me so much and like uh, like even when i'm changing the cultures i, I from, i'm from poland yeah she's dutch but like i moved here two years ago and I would say whenever I come back to Poland, most of my friends wouldn't recognize me because it was like, you are such a different person because like <laughs> the country changes you, you know? Yeah, I yeah. can definitely feel that too, yeah. moving here from Sweden. I definitely became much more Dutch uh, yeah. from being here in a sense. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So that's probably just natural. But that, would you not say that in some ways, you know, when you have very high cognitive flexibility, and you can adjust yourself to other people. Does that not also sometimes cause you stress to feel like you kind of have to uh, mold yourself to fit other people's expectations? Uh, I mean, it's like, I, I think this is like a really internal work you need to do. Like you need to have like the agreement with yourself. Okay, I'm this and that. That's my like value, like code of values you, you follow and you stick to this kind of stuff. And you like, you have this basic core things and then you actually hang out with people who actually share the same core value. Yeah. And then it's so much easier for you. You don't have to adjust. It's just become a natural for you, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, we interact with different types of people every day, but it's just more about like, it's like those relationships are a little bit more distant, but when you have close certain, like a, like for example for me, if I know I mirror people, yeah. I know I have to keep a very tight group of people yeah. and like really like carefully select it. So I'm sure that they actually bring the best in my life. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, because if you change yourself too much, you yeah. probably struggle a lot. Yeah, yeah, it's like your brain is like, oh, who am I? Or like, oh, like, and you like internally you feel like it's not like how I want to. That it's not like I don't feel it like before in Poland I was in sort of like toxic environment so yeah. many times and now like I need to step back from it because I feel like I'm going to follow and they like they behavior and I don't want that so yeah. I'm just like okay I'm stepping back and I'm trying to find people who actually have the similar core values like me. The truth is probably personality types can change 
definitely it would take a long time possibly it would be the result of trauma but even Jung believed that we could become a different personality type and our experiences and our actions could choose to change our destiny I believe we can change our types because I think it gives people a sense of control over the future if they can change their personality type that means they're not doomed to be anyway they can be anyone who they want the question is, should you want to change your personal type? Why not, instead of uh, trying to be somebody else, why not try to reaffirm and see the positive things about who you are and what makes you special? If we believe that personal type can change, personal type is no longer a box, it's a spectrum. And that gives us a lot more freedom to work from within this spectrum to make the changes we want to make, but also to retain and maintain the things that we love and appreciate the most about ourselves. Yeah. yeah. After like listening to you a bit, I feel like I've changed my opinion about you a little bit. Uh, <laughs> so when I, my first impression, because you said that you were more of an emotional person in a sense, uh, I'm actually getting the idea from talking to you that you're actually a lot more logical uh, than uh, what uh, you might uh, uh, yeah, first uh, entail in a sense. Because uh, the reason why I say it, and I'm, we wanna, I want to ask a question to confirm that in a sense, uh, you seem like an achievement person, like a person that likes to uh, uh, develop yourself, to improve yourself a lot yeah, <laughs> uh, and that's a very logical approach okay, nice. uh, so uh, you have the ENFPs that I mentioned uh, that were uh, those people want to follow their own moral compass they are very concerned with ethics with being a good person yep. uh, but the ENTPs uh, they can have that too certainly but they are more the achievers the inventors yeah. the people that uh, think about how how can I make this work how can I fix this how can I uh, improve yeah. this in a sense and sometimes they can change themselves a little bit if yeah. they think it's better to yeah. be a certain way or they'll achieve yeah. more yeah. by doing something differently they'll fix change themselves to fit that yeah 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 i think the second option is actually is very very accurate like if i feel like i'm not going the right direction i feel like my like i don't like that path i'm like okay let's just maybe adjust a little think about the ways i can improve my personality a bit yeah, you do a lot of introspection but yeah. you're also very vocal about it yeah <laughs> every okay. yeah every time like something happens or like you get emotional from it or like you start to question yourself we have like pretty long conversations on okay what well, what well, actually I don't often say that much. <laughs> you, you, you just talk and you get more vocal about how you feel yeah. actually and you kind of realize from by being vocal about it, like what you think about it and how you can change it. And then yeah, sometimes I can give some advice, but often just about being open about it that you know, yeah. you can change and become aware. Yeah. So yeah, that's sure. pretty cool and yeah, I always yeah. admire that. I mean that's a communication style because like we are different in that like I'm yeah. a talker, so I need to like I can't just keep it in myself, I need to get it out. Yeah. And she's going to probably write down for herself and then maybe she'll come to me with the final result. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think so about that and like you know, <laughs> I'm going to do this and that. I was like, okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's really awesome, at least. Thanks both for answering my questions. I love talking to these two girls. They were absolutely amazing and really insightful and really cool people. The truth is, I got sick with COVID about three, four weeks ago, and it absolutely crushed me. Like, I couldn't record for the longest time, and it just made me realize how much I appreciate you all. You mean so much to me. I care so much about you all, and I am so grateful that you guys watch and continue to watch my channel and support me no matter what content I make. Um, I just want to say thank you so much for watching and subscribing and for being here. And yeah, I hope you'll continue to enjoy my content, and that I'll see you all in the next video. Did you agree with how I typed them and how would you type them? And ultimately, do you believe astrology is real or do you believe the Myers-Briggs type indicator is more accurate? Let me know in the comments down below and thank you so much for watching.